A beautiful night here at Target Field. No score as we go to the fourth inning. And for the first time this year, the Twins are wearing their Heart of 29 red Twins jerseys. And of course, the Heart of 29, uh, the Heart of Rod Carew, who's nice enough to join us here. The uh, jerseys, part of the ticket package that uh, Twins fans uh, can get. It's a very nice jersey with Mr. Carew's number 29. You look great. How you feeling? I feel 95 percent better than I did the last time I was here. Is that right? That's yeah. great. That's oh, yeah. great. Yeah. Right. Uh, not only the Twins are wearing it, also the White Sox. The White Sox, yeah. Are wearing I, the Heart of know, 29 patch, right? Just want to take my hats off to those guys and uh, to thank them for being a part of, you know, the Club 29 uh, thing that the, the Twins are doing. All We're the trying to get more clubs involved. Right. All that really matters is that you are feeling better. But how are you feeling better? Uh, strength wise uh, I feel a lot better you know I'm eating good uh, as Rhonda would say I'm, I'm back to being normal because <laughs> oh you're ornery then. <laughs> not only being ornery but I'm clean I, I walk around the house and I'm I'm picking things up not nothing should be out of place you know there you see so, the heart of 29 patch that Adam Eaton is wearing there yeah that's it's it's great. Two and two to Eaton. He'll be followed by Rollins and Abreu. Fouled back. Well, all that creates a lot of walking. Right? You look like, are you gaining weight back? I am right around where I was when I, when I was sick. Mm -hmm. I mean, before I, I became sick. Right. And um, the, the thing that I notice about myself is that, you know, I, I feel stronger. I can lift things that I couldn't do lift. You know, before, uh, you know, after the operation and, and things like that. But no, I do feel 100%. Better. Nice stop by Maurer at first. Hughes to the bag. Ahead of Eaton. A great play by the first baseman and the pitcher. Rod, you made that play many times when you played over at first, but that's an outstanding play. And as a pitcher, you better get over there because of who's running. Eaton, it was a foot race right there. And Hugh, Phil Hughes knows Eaton is running. He's got to get over there. And a nice shovel pass right there. Joe, Joe Cut came up yep. and gave him a nice, nice underhand lob. And got him out at first. Hey, how lucky am I? I'm sitting up here with the two living Twins Hall of Famers. You know, I've been hearing him say for 20 years on TV that pitchers are the best athletes on the team. So would you care to offer a differing opinion? <laughs> no, I, I think he's right. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Thank you, Rob. I, I think there, there are a lot of pitchers that are, that are uh, great athletes. Yeah, I'm just uh, not one of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Go ahead, yeah but you, work, your train of you worked at it. <laughs> you worked at it. So I got, I've got to, I've got to compliment you as far as that goes. Well, let me ask you one thing. You know, we're everything talking about the 0 7 start, a lot of the strikeouts. But I looked at your career, Rod, and you didn't strike out much. You have, you struck out maybe once out of every 10 at bats. Well, you know, I enjoy getting the bat on the ball as yeah. much as possible. Is there anything so, that you were seeing that maybe, you know, these guys need to do a little bit better job of? I think keep the ball on the ground as much as possible, you know, uh, get away from the, the fly balls. I think if you can keep your bat in the hitter zone just a split second longer, you can do something with balls instead of, you know, your hands flying through there. Too quick. Well, let me ask you because your first year, 1967, you struck out 91 times. That's the most you struck out in the season. The ball's going to go foul. And out of play. After that, you didn't strike out that much, but you were young back then. Right. You know, I mean, we have a lot of young players, you know, and, and you struck out 1,028 times in 10,550 at bats. So. I mean, you learned it at the beginning. I'm sure it was tough. I learned to make the adjustment. I yeah. learned that, uh, you know, my job was to get on base as much as possible. So the only way I could get on base is by making contact. And I think with what the ball club is going through right now, you know, in my opinion, they're, they're putting some pre too much pressure on themselves. Because they're trying to get that number one win. It's going to come. You know, just play through it and it'll come. Two and two to Rollins. And a squibber. And that'll be the first hit of the game. A little spinner in the grass. And Rollins is aboard with a one out 
base hit. Well, nothing you can do about that. Now the uh, speedy Rollins still at uh, first base. What's ahead for you, my friend? You've got a uh, big uh, summer. I know you hope uh, uh, in a transforming summer uh, up ahead. Well, hopefully, um, they'll find me a new heart. You know, and I, I want a heart. I want a young one. <laughs> I want to make a comeback. <laughs> no, uh, I think starting maybe uh, June, July, they'll start sending out feeders to the hospital in, in L.A. to see the sign right. And then uh, get Rhonda and I information to have meetings set up with some of the doctors there to see uh, what the next step would be. Now, I, of course, I'm learning so much about this process from you and Rhonda. And, and at dinner tonight, you were talking about how your blood type, as uncommon as it is, might be favorable in terms of your getting a transplant sooner rather than later. Yes. Yes. And uh, he's looking out after me. <laughs> you know? But this could this could all happen fairly quickly. Apparently. It could. You know? And, and um, you know, I've, I've talked to people that have that were in my situation and have gone ahead and, and have gotten heart attacks, and I wanted to know what the difference is with the operations, which one is tougher, and, and things like that. And they they told me that the LVAD has been tougher than you than know, the transplant. Going, than the transplant. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we have some other uh, things we'd like to bring up regarding your uh, uh, campaign here. The Twin Cities Heart Walk is coming up on Saturday, May 14th here at Target Field. Are you coming back we'll, for that? We'll be back for that. Okay. Definitely. And then uh, fans can purchase these jerseys uh, with a special ticket on Fridays uh, uh, in April and May. Now, the Twins are wearing these jerseys tonight to debut them, but it'll be a regular occurrence uh, on Fridays uh, uh, during the season. Uh, it's section 127. Portion of the purchase of the uh, ticket package, there's a swing and a miss by Frazier, will go to the American Heart Association. The seats will be in section 127, and the first one coming up is Friday against, oddly enough, the Angels, the other team that you uh, played with. They're flying in here for a weekend series. Yeah, um, you know, I, I, I appreciate everything that the Twins organization has done and continue to do. And uh, my hat goes out. To uh, Dave St. Peter and Brian Donaldson because they're the ones that have really been pushing and trying to get a lot of things done. A fly to left. Would you be nice enough to stay with us another half inning? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>